A very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you once again live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. The proposal for a national trade policy presented to the President and the Prime Minister. 427 killed by Corona with more than 20,000 confirmed cases worldwide. A new crisis in the UNP. A global beauty pageant to kick off in Sri Lanka. And I told everyone, oh, you have to come back with me, you have to visit Sri Lanka. Gonna... Pete Buttigieg takes lead in partial results in Iowa caucuses. Absolutely sure that we win in November. We cannot take the risk of meeting a fundamentally new challenge by falling back on the familiar. We can't be afraid of moving to the future and new voices in our leadership. Now in our lead story, the proposal for a national trade policy was presented to President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha. The National Front of Professionals appointed a public commission to formulate a national trade policy for international trade. The president of the National Front of Professionals, Dr. Anuruddha Padaniya, presented it to the president. Meanwhile, the proposal for a national trade policy was presented to Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha at the OPA Colombo. Professor Venerable Madhagodapet Tissatero also participated in the event. The World Health Organization says there is a window of opportunity to stop the deadly new coronavirus becoming a broader global crisis. At least 427 people have died with more than 20,000 confirmed cases worldwide. Officials say 425 people have died in China, one in Hong Kong and one in the Philippines. Already 717 Sri Lankan students from China have arrived in the island. The Corona Quarantine Center at the Diyatalava Army Camp is currently functioning and the Badullah General Hospital has been prepared to treat the infected. Meanwhile, students accommodated at the Corona Quarantine Center, Diyatalava also marked Independence Day. In more news at home, in addition to the leadership crisis in the UNP, the appointment of Ranjit Madhuma Bandara as the new alliance's general secretary has been a new problem. It is reported that Ranul Vikramasinghe had asked not to appoint Rajinth Manduma Bandara, Kabir Hashim, Ajit P. Pereira, Sujiva Sena Singha or Nalin Bandara as the secretary of the new alliance. Ranul Vikramasinghe appointed a three-member committee to appoint the general secretary of the new alliance. The new alliance is to abandon both symbols, the elephant and the swan, and to contest the general election with a new sign. In more news at home, an annual global beauty pageant to compete for the crown of Miss Global on an international platform will begin in Sri Lanka. The 46th Miss Global competition is scheduled to be held in Sri Lanka on the 15th of this month. About 90 contestants from 60 countries in the world will be participating in this competition. The competition was launched in the year 1974 from Los Angeles in the United States. The conduct of this competition in Sri Lanka will be an impetus for the Sri Lankan economy as well as for the tourism industry. The competition will begin from Shangri-La Hotel in Colombo on the 15th and the grand finale is slated to be held at the Nelum Pokuna Theatre in Colombo on the 25th of this month. A news conference was held in Colombo by the National Director of the Organizing Committee, Tatiana Rajapaksha, Alicia Shanks of the United States, who won the Miss Global 2018 crown, and Vice Chairman of the Miss Global Organizing Committee, Umesh Ponambalam. I just want to, to make sure that world final competition is about promoting Sri Lanka and about making sure that people know that this is a place, a place to be because it comes down to that's, that's one of the major goals. 
So I went back home and I told everyone, oh, you have to come back. You, um, you have to come back with me. You have to visit Sri Lanka. I'm going to do this show. And, and just imagine that voice multiplied by 60 to 90 women plus their families and the people that come here and then, you know, and then on social media and that spread everywhere. And I think that's going to be a really great thing for Sri Lanka. More on the coronavirus, a program was held to apprise tourism-related professionals on the coronavirus on how to manage it in a non-impact manner. Coronavirus had a tremendous impact on tourism. An awareness program to educate professionals related to tourism was held at the Tourism Ministry in Colombo. Doctors who took the lead in this program briefed on the epidemic and measures to be taken at this juncture. We are dealing with a different virus while you all are concerned with novel coronavirus. Unfortunately, no one knows what is this virus that Health Promotion Bureau is dealing with. It is none other than, it is more deadly than novel coronavirus. That is none other than myths and misinformation. So fear psychosis is the most obstacle to deal with this condition. We are coordinating with all media. I should thank all media who collaborate with us. We are trying to send all the experts who are dealing with this condition to media to give you credible information. Social media overrides everything. So we have developed a pl platform with social media uh, that is Facebook page of Health Promotion Bureau, which has blue tag verification from Facebook, which uh, which says that it is the it is a source of credible information. So we monitor all the myths and rumors 24/7, and we get uh, verification. We we try to verify the information with all the main actors, and post correct information. We are uh, maintaining a 24-7 call center. It is 0710-107-107. 0710-107-107. This is, uh, we call it again Suez Area. It is Suez Area call center. All the doctors and specialist doctors are answering 24-7. The Yala National uh, Wild Park has introduced an e-ticketing system. The Ministry of Environment and Wildlife Resources states that the new system was introduced with the aim of easing the congestion. The Ministry says a large number of local and foreign visitors flock to visit the Yala Wildlife Park on a daily basis. Let's now take a look at the very latest in news overseas. Macau, the world's biggest gambling hub, said that it had asked all casino operators to suspend operations for two weeks to help curb the spread of the new coronavirus. Residents have been instructed to wear masks when traveling around the city and been advised to stay home as much as possible. The move to shut down casinos came as the total infections in mainland China rose to 20,438 with 425 deaths. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. Have a great day and take care.